hi guys welcome to another video by cash out point in today's video i want to talk about the uaag grant okay so if you are expectant of the grant that is about to be disbursed this video is for you i want you to watch this video listen to this particular voice note this voice note has every important information that you must know as a beneficiary of this grant okay so if you are a bundle holder you are if, if you are a cluster holder whatsoever you are if your name is there as a beneficiary this video is very, very important because it has everything you need to to know the problems why the delay in the disbursement and possibly the date or when we are to expect the disbursement of this particular UAAG grant. So I want to I want you to pay attention, watch this video to the end. Don't forget that your comment on this video is very very important. Just comment to let us know what you think about this grant, and also share this to others that may be doubting or they are not sure whether this grant will be like this. But just um, you know, share this video to them. Also, don't forget one thing: just subscribe to this channel because on this channel we create video that center around grant anything grant and other ways you can actually make money online so without saying much just wait and see the next screen to hear the voice notes and gentlemen in grant community in nigeria my name is pastor arkan basi coming your way this very early hour receive call and messages in regard to if a letter will be given to bundle owners to take to banks so that they will not penalize them on the facts of money to receive in their accounts. Let me explain something to you. If you are in the same category of asking such questions, it definitely the amount you will receive in your account it is higher than the usual amount you have been gotten for the period you have been operating that account the first thing the bank will do the bank will frozen that account frozen that account does not mean your money is taken away Frozen that account does not mean you'll be invited by EFCC. The purpose is for you to come to bank and upgrade your accounts. Like I say, you will not be able to withdraw. You can't transact with it after such amount enter. You need to go to bank and upgrade. Upgrade is in categories. You may, you may say you have upgraded your account before. You only upgrade to the highest amount you have been receiving. Another maximum amount, other than the one you used to receive, would also cause your account to be frozen. So there is nothing you need to worry. So if they ask you the source of money, where you get the money from, you receive a lot. The name of the NGO that pays you shall be the source of your money. The name of the NGO that pays you shall be the source of your money. It's a simple term. You are being empowered by the NGO to start up a business. And that is what you need to say. You don't need a letter in that effect. You don't need a letter in that effect. So the NGO that pays you is a corporate body, is an entity that actually will defend the money, not you. So when you say it is money paid by NGO for you to start your business, that will be enough to explain. Are you getting me? Bank is doing their business. Bank is doing their job to make sure that somebody have not mistakenly sent money to your account. 
Yes, they do it, the frozen it, so that you go there and clarify their account. Yes. Somebody was using my company name to run a, a, a contract with government. So when money got into the account, the person needed to get his money of that contract. I issued the person the check. And the person went to bank to cash. Yeah, going to bank to cash, they process everything and before they give him the money, they have they put phone call across to me. Even when they saw my signature, they put phone call across to me. Do you know this person that is coming to pick some money from this account? And two, what is the amount if you know the person? The person is coming to withdraw. Three, they asked me of the, the account manager to be sure that I am the one that have that account. I have to mention the name of the person, the million which I asked the person to get his morning of contracts, and I mentioned the, the the bank, the account manager. And that was how the person was able to get the money from the counter. So all this is not just to, you know, cause problem is to make sure that the money that is about leaving the account is actually from the person that owned that account. So any money coming from a corporate account to your account is suspected to be a fraudulent activities. So they will want to find out if it is true. So the NGO will be called, perhaps, do you have any transaction you have made to so -so -so person? Because the NGO is aware that they are sending bulk payment to many people. He, he has no option to say, yes, we send it. This is an empowerment program we have done, not only that one person. So we send it across number of persons. Okay? So NGO should take note of this because the NGO shall always defend the beneficiaries and bundle owners in case bank put phone call across. Thank you very much. My name is Pastor Akanbasi. Remain blessed.